Hello, I'm Penelope. I'm here today to speak to you about the biggest names in art today. On the Penelope Show. Throughout the ages, humankind has surprised and stunned us with its inventions, with its moments of genius, with its unwavering strength and compassion in the face of adversity. Although we celebrate and immortalize these great men and women, we rarely ask about the origin of their inspiration. In Greek mythology, muses were the goddesses that inspired literature, science, and the arts. In 2014, artist Lala Drona came out about torturing and abusing muses in order to extract inspiration. Since, people have taken interest in the modern-day muse. What are the everyday practices in an artist-muse relationship? I'm here today with one of Lala Drona's muses, Muse Pink, the muse of playfulness, dance, and darkness. Hello, Muse Pink. I'd like to start by asking, what does it mean to be a muse? Mm, for me, being a muse is being an inspiration tool for the artist. And in my case, for Lala, uh, it means helping her with her projects, uh, being there when she needs me, being there for her art. Right. Quite beautiful, that. Uh, I would like to know how you met Lala. Uh, well, actually, uh, Lala and I met several times. Uh, but uh, there was this time after an exhibition of hers we started uh, talking together a little bit much and uh, like we really got along and I wanted to be one of her muse because she was recruiting at the time and actually um, she said that I probably had what it takes to be a muse so I had an interview with her and uh, we got along really well and I passed the entrance exam so uh, we started together like working in one of our ex experiments uh, when I had to eat one of the drones Lala Drona's personality seems quite special. Why do you two continue to work together? Uh, why we continue working together is because um, I think uh, she likes uh, my way of being, which is kind of really dark and cute and sweet at the same time. <laughs> So, like, she likes the duality of my personality. I could see that. Next question. Uh, have you ever inspired one of Lola's paintings? Uh, during one of uh, her experiments, I ate a piece of drum number one. I inspired the words, Je suis la fin qui justifie les moyens, and she used it for her triptych. Okay, Muse Pink, now for the question that's on everyone's mind. The Muse experiments. Is it true that Lala Drona tortures and abuses muses? Mm, yes, it's true, like she does abuse muses. But I mean, um, when you agree being Lala's muse, you, uh, you know what to expect. I mean, she does that so that you can transcend and uh, give the best of yourself and uh, release things that you have inside um, all the beautiful things inside all the, the bad things inside like you release everything interesting could you perhaps describe one of those little experiments oh uh, well um, sometime she made me dance for hours and hours I 
practice during around 10 hours without drinking, without eating. Um, my feet started to hurt really, really much. My muscles were like so tense. I even fell on the floor because I was so exhausted. Uh, it was very, very harsh. And what happened after? After this part, I was feeling uh, transcendence. Uh, I was feeling perfection and it gave me a whole inspiration and I needed a pen to write something to to say the inspiration to Lala and I was so exhausted on the floor and writing the inspiration down um, I think it made me uh, create it caused inspiration I've never had before sounds like quite the powerful experience well unfortunately Muse Pink we're out of time I'd like to thank you for being here tonight on The Penelope Show. It was a pleasure to meet you and thank you for inviting me. And I'd like to thank the rest of you for joining us tonight on The Penelope Show. And if you'd like to know more about La La Drona, visit www.basedonafact.com. Before you go, I'd like to know, what inspires you? Comment below. Thank you and good night.